Hey, thanks for breakfast, Dad. It was great. Oh, was it really great? Yeah, got two bites. That was your problem. Barely picked up your fork. <laughs> That's just sad sex. This is supposed to cheer everybody up. Nate's off the hook. Because your newspaper says so? Well, not only really that, but my, my ravishingly beautiful Latina <laughs> shark of a lawyer slash wife got her client to admit he was innocent. Why aren't we celebrating? I don't understand. It ain't over till the judge says it's over, Todd. When the charges are officially dropped, then we can celebrate, right, Danny? Yeah. I mean, the Nate part would be incredible. It's just... Just what? If his mom goes to jail instead, Nate's not going to be too happy about that. None of his sons will be. Uh, you sure you don't want to go to the coffee shop instead? Are you kidding? I mean, I love the food here. Why, is there some reason you don't want to say? Well, if we're here, we might as well stay. No reason not to. Hi, Star, how are you? Hi. Why don't you take a look at me and I'm gonna be right back, okay? Hi. I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt. I, I just wanted to tell you thank you so much for everything you've been doing for Nate. Uh, is it true that he might get out tonight? Uh, with a little luck on our side. But until we get the ruling, I can't make any promises. Oh, right, of course. Um, well, what about um, my mom? Do you know if they're going to charge her with anything? Um, she's being held on suspicion. If that changes, I'll let you know. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. What's going on between you and that guy? <sighs> Nothing happened with me and James. Right, so when he came over here and you looked like you got hit by a brick, how was this in my head? Dad, give Star a break, okay? Just interested in what's going on in my daughter's life. That's well, it's what... nothing that you need to know. Sorry, I can't help it. That's what dads do. Well, don't. Oh, I'd like to change the subject. How about that? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, excuse me. Saved by the bell. <clears throat> hello? Yes, I'll hold. It's the judge's office. Are they letting Nate go? I know Valentine's Day is a long way off, but being on the planning committee, I just really don't want this dance to be a thing. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Something happened. No, 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 no. Uh, we're going to go to the courthouse. Hey, um, judge wants to talk to Nate. OK, well, is that good news or is that bad news? Uh, as soon as we know, we'll let you know. All right? Yeah, we'll tell Nate that I'm hoping for the best, OK? Yeah, I will. OK. okay. Bye-bye. Just think, this time tomorrow your brother could be free. Yeah, I just wish I could say the same thing for my mom. I wonder how mom's doing. How the hell with mom? I want to find out what's going on with you. Oh, gee, Dad. Well, it's a really great time in my life. Cole's in prison. No, no, no. It's not about Cole. It's about James. Did he dump you for that chick, or did you dump him? If you ask me to breakfast again and I say no, don't be surprised. Well, okay, hold on. I'm sorry. No more questions. There's actually something I want to talk to you about. You sound serious, <laughs> even for you. <laughs> That's about Marty. She made the final flip. She what? Yeah, she's got a rubber room at St. Anne's with her name on it. It's great, huh? What happened? The shrink got shrunk. Oh, she, she tried to steal your cousin Natalie's baby. What? Snuck into the nursery at the hospital. Why? Who knows? Who cares? What are you looking at me like that for? Everyone's fine. I mean, Natalie's fine, baby's fine, everyone's fine. Except for Marty. God, poor Marty. Oh, was Marty. I right about her or what? What'd you say? I said poor Marty. Are you serious? Poor Marty? Give me a break. Poor Hope. She ever came anywhere near her. You see, I knew that. That's why I got that restraining order. And everybody went down on me for it. Sweet little grandma versus the big bad wolf. Who's the, who's the monster now? See, I had, I had Marty Saybrook's number from the beginning. Thank me anytime. I don't have a degree or anything, obviously, but I am auditing a class in the law school. The professor was talking about search and seizure the other day. 
I don't know if this applies to your mom's case, but if the police didn't absolutely follow procedure when they were collecting the evidence, that could definitely have an impact. So you might want to ask your mom's lawyer about that. Star, are you even listening to me? James, are you listening? It's really sweet of you to try and help out with my mom's case. I, I just don't... I, I'm worried about my brother. Of course. Why wouldn't you be? You know, we should probably get to class. You know what? You go ahead. I'm going to stay and check and see if there's any word on me. Good luck. I hope everything works out. Thanks. You finished? With what? With your little peekaboo session with the Ford kid over there. I'm trying to give you some good advice here. Go ahead. Live your life. Forget about Cole. I'm not talking about this. You know, he's locked up for a reason. He's nuts, just like his mom. It's completely different. No. No, they both lost control. They're both locked up. You gotta seize the moment, right? You gotta just kiss all the Thornards goodbye. Does Cole know what happened to his mom? I don't know. I'm gonna call him. Wait, I don't think you understand. You don't get it, man. You, you have an opportunity or just make a clean break. I don't think you get it. Cole is the father of my child, and you want me to abandon him? Do you honestly think that you're helping me? Leave me alone. Please. Hey, what's wrong with Star? What did you do to her? You asking me what I did to Star? Uh. Yeah, you must have upset her. No, I think that's on you. What? What's on me? Well, you're the one who had the brilliant idea to bring that other chick in here and flaunt her in front of the store. I don't have any idea what you're talking you about. You just keep it up and you'll drive her right back to coal. And we'll both have the pleasure of watching my daughter ruin her life. So this star told me she wanted me to see other people. God, that's why she's so happy now. Yeah, I want to be... You no, know, why am I even saying any of this to you? It's none of your business. Oh, well, sit down, sit down. Why? Why should I? I told you that the only way to get an abuser out of your life is for him to end up dead, right? And it looks like your mom did you a favor. Yeah, she's the one who killed your dad. Oh, my mom couldn't kill anybody. Even after everything my dad did. Okay, I don't think it's in her. Oh, it doesn't matter to me who I see. I just care about my daughter. I don't like seeing her hurt. So if you want her, then get rid of that other girlfriend. And then once you've done that, then Dad. you have to. What are you saying to James? Your dad was just asking me about what was going on. Yeah, and we covered that. But mostly I'm interested in what's going on with you two. All right? So let's cut to the chase. You want Star, she wants you back. Let's just admit it. 